This is the first video of the sharing series, and in this one we'll be going over what a fair share means, and the first method we'll be using, divider selector with just two players for now. So here's the situation we have. We have this pizza here, and it is three-fourths just cheese, and the other one-fourth is pepperoni, and we have two uh, players or people. And the distinction between them is that the one on the left here is vegetarian, and the one on the right here is not vegetarian. And furthermore, he doesn't care whether he gets pepperoni or cheese. He's indifferent between them. So what does this imply for us? So I've written here that this pizza is worth $10 total. But this $10 is broken up differently between these two people. For the vegetarian person, obviously he cannot eat the pepperoni. So the remaining three-fourths of the pizza, the cheese, is where all of his $10 is. And the pepperoni slice is $0 for him. Now, the person who's not vegetarian, it doesn't really matter how you divide it. The pizza is just overall worth $10. So if we were to cut it in half anywhere, each half would be worth $5. And we can cut it half anywhere. That can include pepperoni or not pepperoni. So now a fair share will define as somebody getting more than half of the total value of the pizza in their own terms. So let's see what this means. So let's just experiment a little bit. So let me draw a cut, for example. So here's a possible cut of the pizza. Now this cut, let's say this half went to this person and this half went to this person. Now this person, since this is half of the whole pizza and it is two thirds of the cheese portion of the pizza, it's worth two thirds of $10 for him. And two thirds of $10 is six sixty seven dollars about so he's getting more than five dollars so he is definitely getting a fair share now this person is much easier to think about he doesn't care which half he gets it's that's five dollars to him so he's getting exactly five dollars so he is also getting a fair share so a fair share would be getting five dollars or more worth of pizza but that word is important worth because it has to be worth it to you depending on your own tastes and preferences so let's make something that would not be okay um, in fact, we can just reverse the situation. So let's say instead of giving this slice to the vegetarian, we give this slice to the non-vegetarian person. That's still okay. It's worth $5. So he is still getting a fair share. But now let's say we gave this piece, this half right here, to the vegetarian person. So since this is worth zero to him, he's only getting benefit from this fourth right here. So this is actually a third. This piece right here is a third of the total cheese portion. So it's a third of $10, which is... 333 and that is less than five dollars so that is not a fair share so that is not a good way to divide this pizza because not both parties are getting a fair share so now that we know what a fair share is we can talk about the divider selector method this method is really simple very straightforward one person is the divider so he cuts the pizza into two parts and the other person chooses which part he wants now that's fair that's simple enough on the surface but let's think about what's going through each person's mind as they cut. So let's just do uh, two cases. Let's say case one is the vegetarian cuts the pizza. Um, so if he cuts the pizza, here's what's going through his mind. He says, I have no idea which the other person's going to choose. And keep in mind, the vegetarian person doesn't know the preferences of this other guy. He doesn't know he's non-vegetarian. He just has to go off what he knows. So the vegetarian guy is thinking, Okay, well, I need to cut this so that no matter which piece the other guy picks, I will get at least 50%. So the only way to do that is to cut it exactly in half to his tastes and preferences. So he cannot make this cut. He can't make the cut that I made right here because he can't risk it happening that uh, the other person will pick this piece right here because then he'll get stuck with this $3.33 cents uh, piece, which is not good. So the logical cut he would make is so I'll make it with a blue to distinguish it he would want to cut half the pepperoni and keep this cut going down here and why is this what he would want to do well let's calculate the value of the total pizza now so this pepperoni slice is worth zero to him and he's getting half the cheese portion and half the cheese portion is five dollars now if he gets stuck with this piece right here it's the same deal zero dollars for the pepperoni and this cheese portion he's getting is half of the total cheese, so it's $5. So no matter how the other person chooses, he will get a fair share, which is what's important. So now this person, since he's indifferent, he can actually choose either one, and he'll be getting $5. So in this case, each person will get $5 worth of pizza. So now let's say that the case two is that the non-vegetarian person cuts. 
So this is more uh, free since he has no preference. He can literally just cut it in half anywhere. So let's say he cuts it in half. Uh, let's just say he, uh, let me not use red. Let me use, let's say black. So I'm gonna use a dotted line. So let's say he arbitrarily just cuts it in half here. So we have this piece here. So now which piece does the, not, the vegetarian guy wanna choose? Obviously he wants to choose the piece with more cheese. So we see that this piece has a lot more cheese than this piece. So I know it's getting messy. Um, so let me draw a little smaller portion here. So this is pepperoni. And how he's cut it is kind of skewed like this. But we can see that the vegetarian person would want to choose this portion right here. Because it has all this cheese versus just this much cheese. And then, so this guy's actually getting more than $5 worth of pizza now, which he's happy about. And this person is getting exactly $5 because that's how he cut it. So each person is getting a fair share. But we see that there's some asymmetry here because the selector always has a chance to make more than $5, while the divider has to be careful and always cut it into two pieces that are worth exactly $5 because he can't take a risk. So to pick who's the divider, you can just flip a coin, roll a dice, something like that, but it should be done randomly. So that's the basics of the two-player divider selector method. Um, what you have to keep in mind is the divider always cuts it into two pieces that are each worth the same amount to him, and the selector will just choose the piece that has the most worth to him. So the next video will go into three players, which gets more complicated with more cases. So until next time.